um, you start off with a block of linoleum that's like, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch thick, and then you use like a bunch of different types of like V-shaped wedges that are carving knives. And you, I start off with like drawing an image that I want to transplant onto the linoleum block. And then once I have that image, I, um, I like work out the composition and stuff and then I transfer it onto the block and then go back over it with ink and add like finer details. And then after that, I use like the different carbon knives like I talked about to carve out the details. And then after that, um, me and my art teacher go to um, Eastern Michigan to uh, use their printing facilities. Like, okay, so you have like this plexiglass and then you take the ink out of the thing and then you put on and then you use a brayer, which is like kind of like a paint roller, but it's rubber and then you go back and forth until you get the right consistency of the ink. And then you um, put it on to the linoleum block, basically like, it's basically like a big stamp. And then once you have it inked up enough, you put it onto the press and then you put a piece of paper on top of it. And then you put um, like a, another plexiglass sheet um, and then you run it through the press and then you take the paper off and it's transferred to your image like a big stamp. This is a krill and like, I don't know, I've just, most of my work is like animal based and about the environment and stuff. So I have like, basically all my work fits into this like conceptual idea of like humanity's interaction with the environment. So um, that's basically where um, a lot of my work comes from. Well, it's like something I'm like very passionate and interested about. And, um, I, know, I, I guess like it doesn't get enough coverage in my opinion and like people don't really care about it enough so this is kind of like I don't know just like a small way that I've like tried to raise awareness for I guess in, in a way. So everything that's carved out is um it's kind of you have to like, kind of change your whole way of thinking with for making because everything that's carved out doesn't show up at all on the on the final image it's like it's the raised like um it's the raised planes that end up transferring the ink. Was that weird for you to get used to? <laughs> yeah it's kind of like yeah, yeah, especially like going from drawing and painting to like to printmaking, it's kind of a different, different field of thinking.